Hello again there, Star Wars Collectors. This time around, I have Holonet Broadcast Episode 19. Yes, Episode 19. Three more Holonet Broadcasts left to go of the season. Um, so yeah, uh, this last Holonet Broadcast, I'm going to plan to be my 100th video. Um, in case you don't know that already. Um, so yeah. Um, let's get on to this. Today's topic is going to be on Star Wars Customs. Um... So, if you didn't know, I got some silver sharpies from Walmart, um, when I picked up the Rebel Trooper. Uh, and I mainly got them for customizations, um, like this, like, battle damage here on the small scout tank, um, separatist tank type thing. I also did the same with my 501st ATRT that I made a while back. Uh, made it look like paint is scratching off, um right there on the feet um i showed you this one already i did it to my republic fighter tank right there silver make it look battle damaged right there right there um and you could also use silver sharpie for little blasters make them look battle damaged too on um, like the black paint on the blaster is scratching off so yeah that looks pretty cool um and then Mini diorama wise, I still have this one, and none of you guess what it is, um, because none of you posted comments on what it, what you thought it would be, and um, I'll just give it now. Um, tell you, it is gonna be a Kashyyyk um mini display. Gonna have Commander Gree right there on it, um, in his kneeling pose right there. Yoda, um, is gonna be right there. I still need to get a Yoda. Can you believe out of my whole Star Wars collection, I don't have a single Yoda action figure? Can, I can't even believe that either, but, um, it's true. And I'm thinking of getting one in the Saga Commemorative Pack, um, sometime in the near future, hopefully. Um, so yeah. And this diorama will be done once I get a Yoda and a Chewbacca. Um, so I just need two more figures for it. And I'll be working on that and more with mini displays. Um, I used the air dry clay and um, molded this little piece. It's still drying, but um, it should be done in a couple days. Uh, and I put the footprints right there. So um, when you have an action figure, any action figure, you can put their feet right there and it'll fit and it'll keep it standing up. I don't know if you could see that, but I did texture this. This will be painted when it's done. Um, so yeah, just this little um, mini display stand, I guess. Um, so yeah. And then, um, I did make another custom action figure. Uh, I was saving this one for last. Um, and I made it kind of in some Christmas colors. You could say that. Um, and I think it turned out okay. Um, I used an ARF Trooper and an Episode 3 Clone Trooper. Um, these are the excess figure um, parts that you get when you make a uh, custom season 4 clone trooper. So, um, <clears throat> here it is. And it is, um, it looks okay in my opinion. has red stripes up there in the helmet. Um, green visor, green around there. I painted that part silver. Um, red lines, green lines going around the shoulder bells. Red stripes on his elbows. Green, um hand guards, um, red stripes, green, uh, belts, um, parts, and then his knee pads are green and red, and there it's green. And this was all done just using plain old Sharpies, pretty much. I was just bored and I just made a custom. Um, I kind of made the top look kind of like a shock trooper with the red lines on the top. But I think this came out pretty well. I super glued the antenna in that comes in the Episode 3 Trooper Saga Legends pack. And then I gave him a Gatling gun um, or Z6 rotary cannon. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Oh, and I also gave him green stripes on the side. So yeah, that's a custom action figure that I made. Um, it's supposed to be like a heavy artillery ARF trooper. Um, so yeah. And I think it turned out okay. Um, post what you guys think in the comments. Um, so yeah. Update wise, um, I did get the Rebel Trooper. 
review on that. Um, I did. I made a review on that just before this video, so if you want to see it, um, that's there. I did do reviews on Commander Gree and Commander Cody recently, also. Um, and yeah, so um, customs. Um, working. I'm always working on something. Um, like this one is my next project. I might finish up the display base. Um, so yeah. And mm, that is pretty much it for this Holonet broadcast, episode 19. Um, so yeah, I already have a plan for the 100th video, or Holonet broadcast, episode 22, um, which is the season finale. Um, so stay tuned for that. That will be after Christmas. Um, probably, maybe, um, uh, it might be still this year, maybe December something, but it also might be January something. So yeah, um, that's it for this Holonet broadcast. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. May the force be with you.